Welcome to The American Dream. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. The American Dream is a show we founded based upon real estate, lifestyle, culture, and neighborhoods, showing why this country is great, going all across the country. And today, we're gonna show you some great areas and great lifestyles. Let's start the show right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. Welcome to Chagrin Falls, one of Midwest's hidden gems. We're your host of the American Dream TV, I'm Kristen Tallman, and this is my sister, Laurel Heater. Chagrin Falls was founded in the early 1800s, and its main source of power is derived from the falls. It's been named year after year, one of the best cities to live in, in Ohio. But what we love most about our community is the heart of the village. It has a small Midwestern welcoming personality, Western Reserve architecture, and an exceptional quality of life. Come, let's take a walk and see for yourself. Chagrin Falls has a very special place in our hearts. We've watched it evolve over the years and get better and better. With 50 local merchants and restaurants, it doesn't get better than this. It's pretty picture perfect. Let's stop in the popcorn shop where many presidents and celebrities have visited over the years. Just coming in for my usual, thank you, caramel corn and some award-winning Euclid Beach vanilla custard. Now that you've seen a glimpse into the heart of Chagrin Falls, we're going to head on over to Two Cafe and Boutique and meet the founder, Sherry Hunter. We are here today at Two Cafe and Boutique and we are meeting with Sherry Hunter. So tell us a little bit about what happens here. Well, we hope to be the place in the community where in, everybody that lives around the surrounding areas will come and have breakfast and lunch here. And we serve breakfast, lunch all day. So tell us, what was your inspiration? Well, my inspiration is really my son. And um, we have a mission here at The Two, and our mission is to help individuals of all abilities get jobs. And so we're all about full integration and community employment. I always say we are not a special place for special people, though we are just the real workplace. And we have a team of educators here and a team of business people all working with individuals to make sure that they have great workplace habits. And then once they graduate from their time here, we have over 70 companies hiring from us. And so we're really making matches. We're really in this to change the outcome for as many individuals as we can. Well, you're setting them up for success and how amazing that is for them to have that opportunity. We're there to transition them in and to make sure that um, they have all the tools needed to be successful in that next job. And I always say they're the magic behind the two because they go into that workplace, they change that culture and um, for the better. And so they're the ones that are really doing the hard work. We have so many individuals that you know are so, so capable, but they just need that extra helping hand to open the door. Sherry, what does the future look like for the two? Well, we have some really exciting things happening. We hope to be purchasing a place in downtown Chagrin, right in the village. Awesome. And it'll be a much larger space and it will allow us to help so many more people. It also allows us the ability to really use those donor dollars that we receive, you know, really change things for as many people as we can, not only here in our community, but across the country and hopefully beyond so that there's a new way of doing things, that we force a shift in society to say that we all belong together and that everybody deserves the same opportunities. And you know, we're very, very excited about the future of the two. 
Wow, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. You are so inspiring, and so many people have benefited for what your vision has been, so oh, thank you. Thank you so much, it's our pleasure to have you here. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed seeing all the uniqueness that Chagrin Falls has to offer. Stop by Two Cafe and Boutique and support their mission with Life Without Labels. Thank you for joining us today. We're your host, Laurel Heater, and my sister, Kristen Tallman. We'll see you next time on The American Dream. Good morning and welcome to The American Dream. I'm your new host, Amanda Carter, and I'm so excited to show you why my hometown of Akron, Ohio, just about 30 minutes south of Cleveland, is the perfect place to create your American Dream. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you two of my absolute favorite restaurants in the area. One's older, one's newer, but both are Akron staples and make a huge impact in our community. We'll be meeting with Rocco LaRose, young entrepreneur and co-founder of Cafe Arnoni, as well as Carly Stewart, general manager and wearer of many hats at Ken Stewart's Grill and their family of companies. If you know me, three things that are near and dear to my heart are family, food, and wine. So I can't wait to get started. Let's go. All right, so Rocco, I know your business is deeply rooted in family tradition. Mm -hmm. I know your grandma even makes cookies and cannolis here. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about that Italian history? Yeah, so family is um, very, very important to us personally and professionally, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so when we were coming up with the concept for the business, we knew we wanted to tie our roots back to Italy um, with the hometown that we both grew up in, my cousin and I. Um, so we named it Cafe Arnoni after my great grandparents. Okay. Um, they were the first generation to come over from Italy. Awesome. Um, so throughout the building, you're gonna see a bunch of old uh, black and white pictures of all my family. Love it. Um, it's really important for us to kind of remember where we came from yeah. in order to be able to grow and continue on that next step. Awesome. Okay, so a little background on the cafe. So it actually started as a mobile food truck back in 2014. Um, they did open this brick and mortar location in 2018, and then they recently expanded last November and added pizza and wine Wednesday through Saturday evenings. So Rafa, why do people come to Arnoni? Why is this the best spot to hang out in Akron? People come here because, like I mentioned, we have something for everyone, um, and we want everyone to feel welcome when they come here, and I think we have accomplished that over the last four and a half, five years. Um, everyone feels like they are a piece of the Arnone family when they come through these doors, um, and our product is very consistent, very high quality, so I think that is just very unbeatable, and there's nothing else like it in the area. Okay. Thank you so much for visiting Cafe Arnone with me today. Be sure to check out their retail wine shop. I got mine. And you can also get all of their offerings through their drive-thru. Hello everybody, so we're here now in the wine cellar at Ken Stewart's Grill. I'm with Ken Stewart himself and his daughter Carly. Ken, why don't you give us a little history on the grill and the other two restaurants? All right, well, the grill, we uh, opened May 1st of 1990. And I took over an existing restaurant, which was Foley's, talked to the fellow, and after about a year of negotiations, we ended up buying the, the business. It's gone through transformations. When we first opened up, we didn't have a lot of money to do a lot of things, but slowly we uh, refurbished it, redecorated mm -hmm. um, the restaurant. And we've done that quite a few times, as a matter of fact. And then in 2001, we opened the lodge, which is an Adirondack lodge. And then I think about um, 14 years ago, we, right next to the lodge, we built a building called Trebelay, and that's three beauties, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. for my three daughters, Lindsay, Haley, and Carly. All right, so it's been a great day. We've uh, visited two of Akron's most iconic and family-oriented businesses. Um, tell us a little bit about the connection between the two of your families. Yes. <laughs> not um, to put you on the spot. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so the cafe, of course, one of my favorite Akron spots as well. Yes. Um, so Rock and I have been best friends as long as we've basically been alive. Our yeah. moms actually told each other that they were 
pregnant here in the lobby. Um, How fun. Yes, because my mom was working here. Um, and we have been best friends since forever, and we are actually engaged, um, which is Set exciting. to wed in September of next year. Yes. Congratulations. So, thank Cheers. you. <laughs> and thank excited. you so much for having us today. Yes, thank you. west of downtown Cleveland sits one of the most vibrant and active communities in all the area. Gordon Square and Battery Park are homes to many fabulous restaurants and unique shops. Today, this will be our feature episode. Hello, my name is Mary Markoulis. And my name is Erica Markoulis. And we are gonna be your hosts today on American Dream TV, Selling Cleveland. Gordon Square and Battery Park are nestled off the shores of Lake Erie. The arts and diverse community culture are evidenced throughout all of the murals throughout Gordon Square, as you can see from behind. When you come to Cleveland and you come to Gordon Square, you cannot leave without stopping at Brunette Donuts first. We're going in, I gotta get some. All of these donuts are handmade in shop and their secret ingredient is beer, local beer usually from Cleveland. We got our donuts. Before we eat these, we're gonna go to Battery Park to show you one of our favorite spots. Let's go. Not only is Battery Park right next to Cleveland's most famous beach, Edgewater Park, but it's home to so many different fun restaurants and bars. Just like Terrestrial, let's head on inside. Terrestrial is a great place to grab a beer with your furry friend. And every Sunday they do doggy brunch, and you'll see why we love it in a second. to Ralph. He is part owner of this amazing place. And um, I have a few questions for you, Ralph. Awesome. What's up? What inspired you? So uh, we we love beer here. Uh, this whole business is based off, uh, you know, our everlasting love of beer. Uh, I guess we're inspired by the uh, independent uh, beer scene, I guess, uh, in like Portland, Oregon. So a neighborhood kind of place where uh, you know, we want to, we're a destination spot. We want people to come hang out with us um, and enjoy our space and uh, our beer. So yeah, That's well, neighborhood amazing. Pub, I guess. Do you make your own beers? We do, we make uh, all of our beers in the house here. Uh, we have a five barrel system, uh, American made steel from Portland, Oregon. Um, and yeah, that's what we do. Awesome. So I see that we have lots of dogs here today. Obviously, yes. you love your animals. Yes, we are very dog friendly here. Very dog friendly. Talk here. to me about this. Yes, so we do a dog bowl club uh, where, you know, you can buy into our dog bowl club. They have their name printed on their dog bowl so that they can have it when they come here. Um, and every once in a while, we will draw a name out of a hat and we'll name a beer based off of that dog. No we'll way. We'll be inspired by it and do something. Well, Ralph, I appreciate you so much for meeting up with Erica and I. Thanks. Erica lives here in Battery Park. She awesome. lives and works here and um, she, this is her favorite place. So <laughs> I wanted that. to you know, meet you, but I appreciate yeah, you. And thank um, you. good job, because you've done a really well-rounded and amazing business here. Thank you. Thank you. Before we close out this episode, we're going to take you through a local listing here at Battery Park. Before we do that, we're going to finish our beer here at Terrestrial. See you in a sec. Battery Park got its name after it was the home to one of the nation's largest battery companies, Ever Ready Battery. It is now home to West Cleveland's largest residential neighborhood with over 100 different residential condos in the area. As you see, we're gonna go into one of the listings right now. Let's go. This three bedroom, two and a half bath condo, four levels up and down is very typical of what you'd find here in Battery Park. You would expect to find the granite countertops, the engineered hardwood flooring, the vast amount of windows, and this is what people move to Battery Park for. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had as much fun as what we did. Remember, when you come to Cleveland, make sure you stop off at Brunettes 
you will not be disappointed. And obviously, make sure you go to Terrestrial Brewing Company. Take your dogs. Until next time, go brownies. Go browns. Closer to heaven. Welcome to the American Dream, Selling Cleveland. I'm your host, Justin Westlow. Today, we are gonna highlight the East and West Bank of the Flats, as well as the Warehouse District. Clevelanders work hard and they play hard. And today, we're gonna highlight the culture, lifestyle, and real estate that these neighborhoods provide. So, what was your vision when you opened Goodnight John Boy? So good night. This so this particular venue used to be a, another club that we had. We wanted to change it over, and you know, with our company, it, a lot of things start with collaboration. But really, my partner Michael Schwartz. This was, more, I would say, definitely more on his vision and really meant to look like his childhood basement. Okay. It's like you know everything that's wrong with, and everything that's right with like the '70s mashed into one. It looks like a lot of houses I show, actually. Yeah, so, right. Place. So you you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> you actually probably give us a lot of good like uh, knickknacks and stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Yeah, most of the stuff in this in this venue was sourced just off the internet off by the internet. you know our team. So it has a lot of nostalgic to it. And listen, you can't be on the water and on the on the river in very many spots nightlife wise. I mean, when people come in, they're like floored that. We have boat access, we have water views, there's a train that goes by. A lot of those factors are pretty magical to the space and that's probably why, you know, after our eighth year, we're, we're stronger than we've ever been. Okay, so I have a dirty little secret. I am a huge country fan. Yeah, there so you go. I was not mad when you opened this Yeah, everybody out. is, everybody is. What was your vision? Um, so over COVID actually uh, allowed us to maybe work on the business as opposed to in the business a little bit more. Over COVID, we, we met uh, Chase Rice, who's our business partner, and we basically pitched him a concept um, of creating a country music bar outside of Nashville. Okay. So it's kind of rare to start outside of Nashville. A lot of people will start on Broadway and work out. Right. We're kind of the, the opposite. And um, he was all about it. So really the inspiration behind this whole place is his career, his life, and his farm. With all of your locations that you own, what is the one lifestyle that you want to afford Clevelanders? Um, that's a good question. I would say the, the one across our brands, it, that the one constant is we're trying to provide different niche experiences at each brand. So whether you're into country music or dance music or 70s music or you want a burger or you want to find dining. What we're trying to do is, is have a niche within a building and then off of that niche, you know, you know what the expectation is. Well, I've never had a bad time at Forward. So. I appreciate that. I appreciate <laughs> Thank that. Thank you for making Thank Cleveland you. what it is. Appreciate you. The sky is on fire. The lake has turned to a golden sun. Just moments away from the best nightlife in Cleveland is this historic penthouse built over a hundred years ago. It features two stories and fabulous views of the city and the water. Hi, Justin. Welcome to the Cloak Factory. Thank you. Come on in. looking out over Lake Erie, you have the Cleveland Port, you're in the heart of the warehouse district with all of the amazing dining and shopping options. Is it safe to say that this is one of the only units that has a 360 view of the city? It is the only corner penthouse with a 360 view one bedroom that is on the market right now. Thank you for joining me today as we toured the East and West Bank of the Flats and historic warehouse district in Cleveland. I hope to see you again on another episode of the American Dream Selling Cleveland very soon.
Welcome to American Dream TV Selling Cleveland. I'm Teresa Slowey Whittem, and I'm here in the heart, my heart of Cleveland, Solon, Ohio. I'm here at Heritage Coffee today, our local coffee shop. I'm fully caffeinated, and I wanna take you on a trip through Solon. Let's go. So I'm at the Solon School District here today with Fred Bolden. Fred is our superintendent of schools. Mr. Bolden, of all the rewards and the recognition that the Solon schools get, what is the most important to you? What do you strive for with your administration? You know, it's funny that you ask that because, you know, as they come in and we'll get the things from niche.com or the state of Ohio will send us the things about how we do, they're not as meaningful to us because our focus is every kid every day. And we really try to focus on what we can do now to make all of our kids better for next year and the year beyond. So to say is there one particular award or accolade that's, oh, that's such a feather in our cap or it's great. Those are side effects of the work that we do trying to meet the needs of every student each day. Well, it's working very well. Our community thanks you for your hard work. You make Solon a much better place to live and we really appreciate what you do. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Shackner is the co-owner of this beautiful restaurant, L Restaurant and Lounge. L is one of our newer restaurants in Solon, but it's also one of our best fine dining locations that we have in our city. And your restaurant has a great story. Can you tell us your inspiration? Sure. Um, my partner Jay uh, and I have been in this business a very long time, and when this space became available, uh, we thought to do a concept, a fine dining concept that would be an homage to the women in our life and in our families, we came up with the concept of El, which is the word itself is like a feminine word in, in a lot of the Mediterranean languages. Around that, we came up with the vibe and, and the menu. And I have to say, as a person who frequently dines here, I feel that, I notice that touch and that inspiration. Mm. Now, not only L, but you own other restaurants in Solon. You're one of the few restaurateurs that have several locations. Can you tell me about your other venues? Sure, L is like the uh, European like fine dining location. We also have 56 Kitchen, which is kind of the American uh, version of this. And then during COVID, we also opened Vertigo, which is our fast food chicken concept. Yes, all wonderful. I, I frequent them all. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. When you read the website for El Restaurant and Lounge, they proudly say there's always room at the table for one more. And that's great, because right now, coming in the door, is the mayor of Solon, Eddie Krause. Hi. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Thanks for coming today. It was a very short walk from City Hall, so it was, worked out perfect. Great, good. <laughs> Can you tell us about big business here in Solon? There's so much that we have to offer. And about 60 years ago, uh, the industrial area was rezoned. Those industries, the Swage Lock, Nestle, uh, Raptite, all these businesses that we have uh, moved from Cleveland or different areas, uh, and they came to Solon. The synergies between our small business owners and our large industry has really helped build a phenomenal school system for us and bring great services to our city for families to enjoy. Welcome to Solon Chagrin Highlands neighborhood. Come with me and I'm gonna show you one of our newest luxury listings. If you'd like to know more about Solon, look me up online, I'm happy to help you. Otherwise, until next time, I'm Teresa Slowey Whittem and this is my American dream in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm Carly, and welcome to Cleveland's iconic East 4th Street. We're here with Bill Squire today, local comedian and radio host, and we're gonna take a look at hilarities and Pickwick and Frolic. Thanks for coming, 
Hello. Well, thank you for coming to Pickwick and Frolic and Hilarities. They're celebrating 20 years on East 4th Street. They are the restaurant and uh, comedy club that got things going on East 4th. There was, uh, this wasn't the entertainment district that it, that it is until they got here and they kind of got the ball rolling. I'm here with Rick, the manager at Pickwick and Frolic, and we've got a great award-winning restaurant venue here. Rick, what was the vision behind this? Well, Nick, this is Nick Costas' vision, and uh, he had a comedy club, and when he okay. decided to do this venue, it was a mm -hmm. full-service entertainment venue, and he wanted something uh, that was a great restaurant, not just uh, one you may associate with a comedy club. About the menu what are some favorites it's the kitchen is based on two major pieces of equipment the stone oven uh, that we do a lot of roast chicken and vegetables and salmon and then the uh, wood fired grill uh, we burn oak and we create charcoal and we do a lot of steak certified angus beef um, along with uh, you know other seafood and selections like that but our, we're known for a couple of items Certified Angus beef being one of our great steaks, and also our uh, roast chicken that we do in the oven. First on rotisserie, and then on the, in, finished in the oven. Phil's giving us a behind the scenes look down here in the comedy club. Currently seats over 300 people, and over 20 years ago, this was actually a department store. And before it was a department store, it was actually the Euclid Opera House, which is why you have this great theater on the street. So Bill, tell us a little bit about what we can expect when we come to a show here. You can expect to have a great time and laugh at some of the best comedians in the country, because this is one of the best comedy clubs in the entire world, if we're being honest. You get to see great acts, guys that came through here include Bill Burr, Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, and just so many more, and it's just such a wonderful beautiful place to see a show because as you can see it's a tiered seating no matter where you're at it's a good view and it's just gorgeous as well I mean you got the chandelier and it's there's there's not another comedy club like this anywhere Thank you so much for joining us on a tour of Pickwick and Frolic and Hilarities. Hopefully next time you're in town, you can stop in for dinner and a show. I'm Carly, and this is the American Dream Selling Cleveland. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the American Dream. Again, I was your host, Craig Sewing, and the creator of the show. Thank you for following our show, and don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll catch you next time, and of course, cheers to your American Dream.